Right, hello and uh, welcome to Retro Gaming Mad. Not done a few videos in a while, a couple of weeks to be fair, and I'll explain that as we go along, but, um, so I'm a bit rusty if I'm honest. I've uh, tried to set all this up and it's not working very well at the moment, so um, I've, I've got it set up now anyway. So, today's video, well today's video is old graphics on new consoles. So this is four or five games that I've got on my Nintendo Switch. Um, that I really like playing, that are old school graphics, but on new consoles. So let's get into it, shall we? Right, okay, so this first game, like I said, these are old school graphics, as you can see on the screen currently. Uh, they're old school graphics on new machinery. Now, my OLED switch is just there, and uh, I play this game quite a lot. Um, I haven't got the boxes for it. I've got the box, it, sorry, for this game, I've got the box, it's downstairs. I only, I only have a handful, oops, got them the wrong way around. I only have a handful of Switch games, and most of those are actually digital codes, which, you can see there look um yeah they're all digital codes now the prodeus is uh, i think it's prodeus p-r-o-d-e-u-s make us that as you want um because i can't really say it if i'm honest um this game is the box is downstairs because i've been playing it downstairs i brought this upstairs to this uh, to make some videos on it um now this game is basically doom um is it as good as doom it's different from Doom, but it's same as Doom, if that makes any sense. Um, let's get into it, shall we? That, that's probably the best thing to do. It's very fast-paced, and um, it's quite violent, if I'm quite honest. I really like this game because... Well, I just enjoy it. I enjoy Doom. Doom's a fantastic game. Uh, this one I find a little bit better than Doom, if I'm honest. I've been playing Doom um, BFG, I think it is, or Doom 3 BFG, or whatever it is. Uh, and um, I've actually ended up preferring to play this game. It's just a fun game, I just like it. Now as you can see the graphics are quite old. Old school if you like. Um, I like that the Switch offers this type of game where you can play... Whee, jump across. Where you can play old school graphics on new machinery. Uh, there's quite a lot of people doing this. There's, there's quite a lot of developers doing this so sorry oh i'm dead already <laughs> not good is it let's um, let's restart it shall we we'll have another go of it okay i think i've got four or five of these games um most of them are horror games actually to be quite fair um but there's four or five games that have actually got old school type graphics on them and um i like this because i can take this on the go i just pull it out of my dock and off we go and um, I can play it wherever I want. When my son comes round and he's playing his... Um... Oh, I've got the wrong gun in there. There we go. Right, okay. Give me the platform. There we go. Yeah, when he's, when he's playing his um, PC gaming and such, and he takes up the TV because he plugs it into the TV quite often, I can just... Um... Oh, I forgot about those. Um, I can just plug this in. I can, sorry, I can play it in handheld and um, just enjoy it. Which is exactly what I do. There we go. Right. Okay. Go away. So it's just fast paced. It's it's really it, it works really well. It's um it reacts really well. Whoa, I've got I haven't got any more. Right, okay, let's go with those, shall we? Stop it. There we go. There's a massive amount of guns on this game as well, which is fantastic. It's just good. Oh, there we go. If you can hear the vibrating, that's the that's the actual this. It vibrates obviously because it's a switch, isn't it? Um, yeah, let's let's move on to the next game anyway, shall we? Right. So this next game, this is I, I wouldn't I don't know if it's a horror game or no. It's more like a platform slash game. Um, it, as you can see, it's called Greek Mem Memories of Azu. No. Azar, I don't know. Um, and I only picked this up a couple of days ago, if I'm quite honest with you. Um, and the reason I picked it up was because it was really cheap. I only paid less than two pounds for it, uh, two British pounds for it. And uh, I put some money onto the Switch and uh, I just went looking in the 
uh, office and I found three games straight away that I really like looking at um, that I really like that I thought I'd really like playing and so far th- all three of the games that I picked I've really enjoyed this is like um, a platformy type of hack and slash I don't really know to be honest with you I don't know what you I, what you class it as all I know is is it's very good or oh, what I've played of it so far has been very very good I just enjoy these type of games I think they're fantastic You'll see in a second that uh, we do get enemies. This is the beginning of it. Um, there we go. So we've got a little sword. And um, we're obviously making our way left to right. And we get enemies. What is that? I think that's to... Um, oh, I missed that, didn't I? Ooh, I didn't see that before. Right, okay. Um, yeah, look at the graphics. The graphics look so nice. I, I just think that the um, the way that the Switch is now... And I was never a, a Switch fan before... Oh, I hadn't seen that before. Um, I was never really a Switch fan before, and if you've looked, if you've read any of my blogs that's on um, WordPress, uh, you'll see that I've actually sold two Switches, or more than two Switches, actually. I've had two of the normal Switches, the dockable ones, and I've had um, a handheld one. And uh, I've ended up selling them because I've not really enjoyed them. Um, but now, I've got the OLED one, and uh, for some reason, I've got right into it. And it's probably because, um, as there are on the uh, on the YouTube, there's, there's a lot of people now who are complaining about AAA games and complaining about the costs and the fact that, you know, you spend a lot of time waiting to play them. And, ooh, he's trying to get me still. Right, he's going to die. There you go, fella. Um, that th- you know that you can't that you, you spend a lot of time messing about trying to play these old uh, these triple uh, a games and then there's all these micro transitions and and people are just complaining left right and center at this moment in time and uh, I'm, I'm quite i'm with them if i'm honest i don't oh there we go i've ended up being killed um as you know i'm, I'm a more of a retro gamer than i am a, a, a new school gamer but i've had two weeks well i've had a week's holiday currently i've had two weeks off youtube and um i've been playing a lot of playstation 4 i don't have a playstation 5 i did have one and i got rid of it i didn't like it i have got an xbox series s which i do play but i got rid of the game pass during the week to go and do pc gaming and uh, i found that i didn't really like pc gaming as much as i do like um console gaming so i ended up um cancelling the um, PC Game Pass and uh, I ended up um, getting the Game Pass back again and they refunded me so that was alright uh, I just think it's too fiddly game um, on the PC, I will play PC games in fact I have got a couple of Steam games that I quite like, one of them being Euro Trucker which I'll probably play a bit of because that's 12 year old so that class is as, class, as classic really doesn't it um, and it works alright on this PC that I'm recording this on because this is not the most powerful PC in the world, but there you go. So anyway, th- so this is Greek. Um, it's, it looks like it's a really good game. I don't know what the sound's like because I can't hear the sound currently because I don't have earplugs in. But um, yeah, let's move on to the next one, shall we? Ah, right, okay. So that last that's last game was a digital one. This is a digital one as well. This is called Castle of Heart. And um, this is a side-scrolling uh, it's pretty similar to the one we've just seen, actually. Old school graphics and um, just basically run, attack people. But this is quite good because it's medieval, and I like medieval. I always like medieval. Um, this game is... Um, I don't know what happened, but for some reason it lost my save because um, I've played, I played this quite a lot because I really enjoy it. Um, unfortunately, when I came to play it the other week, the save had disappeared. Now, whether I've um, deleted it by accident, I, I don't. I don't really know, to be honest. Um, it might be on the cloud. I don't. I don't really know. But I ended up starting it again anyway. Now, <laughs> I'm stuck on this bit at the moment because uh, you've got to dodge things and oh, I see. I've messed up there. <laughs> I'm supposed to fire at that. Woo. Right, okay. I forgot which... Oh, I've done it again! <laughs> it's not... I keep forgetting which buttons do what. That's the problem. I always forget what buttons do what. There we go. Got it this time. So I've got a... I've got a whack and I've also got a... I've also got a jump at the same time. There we go. Whoa! I might, I might have got covered in fire there. 
Get the cross, go on. Yes, we've done it, we've done it, we've done it. Have we done it? Have we done it? Yes. Kind of. Oh, no. <laughs> it's just a really good game, this. I, I really do enjoy it. I know I say that about all the games I've got, but I just really enjoy it. I think it's fantastic, and I love the graphics. The graphics are, um, are pretty cool, aren't they? So, press L. What do you mean, press L? Oh, and press L and Y together. Nope, that doesn't work. What do you mean, press L? Press... Uh, press L oh right okay I have to look down at the graphics uh, sorry at the console things why can't I do it press L and Y to perform a special attack with solid solid walls oh there we go that'll do it so we just get enemies just say it's just pretty much same as the uh, the other one we've just been been playing you can swap weapons as well so if I if I go there and press up I'll be able to swap look It'll maybe not. I can't remember how to do it to be honest. <laughs> it's been a while. Special attack, yes. There's there's like all sorts of things that throw fire at you and you gotta collect all those little um, press R. Press R to use inventory. Press R, right, okay. Oops. Yeah, so that's not what do you mean press R? I'm pressing both R. Press R for inventory. Right, we need to go down actually. You ready? No, oh, I can't do this. Ready? There we go. It seems nowadays you've got to like um, learn a new... Every time you go on a game now, the games seem to um, have different, you know, button presses and things. And it, 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 you end up like not being able to remember them, I don't, anyway. Maybe it's because I'm getting old, I don't know. I don't really care. Oh. Right, there we go. So, yeah, it's just a fun game. It's just it's just enjoyable. Oh, I'm getting attacked by crows. Right, let's go up there. How do we... I've forgotten how we pick stuff up. <laughs> die, die. So it's just a side scroller, that's all it is. Just basically a side scroller. I'm a bit rusty, can you tell? <laughs> um, I've been struggling uh, with the idea of making YouTube videos, mainly because I just seem to have very little time at this moment in time. I'm always doing something or, you know, like going out with somebody or there's always something going on all the time. Oh, I can't get that one. And um, consequently, the YouTube side of it's just taking a little bit of a back seat. If I actually got paid a little bit for doing it, which I'll ne it probably never happen, but you never know. I'd like to try and get this um, this subscribers up to a thousand. I've got six hundred and forty currently, and I'd like to get up to a thousand. Just to oh dear, you can't go in there. Just to say I have, um, but it's the watch time. I can't get people to watch it very much, unfortunately. And it's probably because the videos are rubbish. But um, it would be nice if I could. But I don't think it's ever going to happen. But it, I reckon if I actually got paid a little cash for it, only a little tiny bit, then you know maybe I'd um, I'd have more. Well, you'd make more time to do things, wouldn't you? It's as simple as that. Um, I've got a full-time job, which that takes up a bit of time, doesn't it? Obviously, forty hours plus a week. Um, right. Okay. That's that's um, that's produce. Uh, yeah. So. Um, so yeah, it's difficult to do, but anyway, let's move on to the next game. So that's the third game. Let's go on to the fourth game. Right, okay, so this is the fourth game, right? I have noticed that of the games that I've been playing, they're all most of them are made by Team 17. Um, they actually did, um, on the Xbox 360, I haven't got it currently. I did have it until recently. No, I have got it, I have got it. Uh, and I'll tell you about that in a bit, but... Um, they did this where you got three games in one box set, and it was, I think it was Team 17 and it was Alien Breed uh, or something like that and it was a fantastic game i've got it i've got it on my xbox 360 here and um, i really really enjoyed that i really enjoyed them games i've done all three of them that was made by team 17 but this is blasphemous now i've blasphemous and there's Val valfaris and slain and they're all very similar in what they do and they're all really really good as you can see here i've been playing this for an hour and 30 minutes only 7.5% <laughs> I feel like I've been playing it forever and a day. This game, these games are really hard. I'm free. I've just talked about there. They are really difficult games. Um, 
you know you're constantly restarting all the time you get killed on a regular basis but look at the graphics on this they're so nice he's just they're, they're just going to tell us something this is sort of like um, a, a latin -y type of game um, and it, as you can see the premise of most of these games is all slash that's what they are platformy type slash games but they're also horror these Ooh, got him again there we go die mother die this is a particularly difficult game i think oh crap as you can see i've already fallen off it's italian latin sorry not italian latin very different aren't they this game i have um, there's a few games in, in in my past that i've played that i've really enjoyed that i can never ever finish or i don't think i'll ever finish this is probably one of them to be honest the other ones like uh, slain and uh, valfaris as i've said but um there's, there's games like um maximo on the playstation 2 that i've been playing since it came out on the playstation 2 believe that or not and i and i, I any, anywhere near half of it done i just don't seem to be able to they're just hard Boy, give him a good smack in there we go these throw rocks at you which is really annoying because they knock you off your platforms see you've got to dig your sword in right see what i mean knock me off my platform and again right okay you're gonna die i just love this is this is one of my favorite graphic uh, games i don't mean graphic as in like uh, horror whoa <laughs> oh missed it no i am there we go i wanted that now i've got to uh i've got to go down again you see and then i've got to jump across they just i don't i don't play these games for massive amounts of time um mainly because i haven't got massive amounts of time but when i get chance i do play them the control system's very good that's for sure it's just hard to get up there we go done it so this bit here now you get these things coming at you look there we go so i've got to try and kill them there we go that's one of them i don't know what the rele relevance of those are but i end up killing them every time he's gonna i knew he was gonna get me oh, shit bag oh he's still gonna get me there we go oh and another one they they must they know where you are <laughs> see i've got to move otherwise the um they end up getting me right let's get him as well oh whatever you don't be doing that i knew i was gonna die so that is um that is blasphemous fantastic game. i've also got them on playstation 4 so i've got slain varel faris and um uh, this one and uh, i really prefer playing them on the switch if i'm honest because i can take them with me i, I went on holiday in april and uh, i took my switch with me and i was sat in the hotel at night time because i've been out I i'd done a lot of driving during the day and i'd been out and uh, at that time i just wanted to chill so i got me switch out and i played this and i played slain and val faris and a lot of other games i actually connected up my um phone to um xbox game pass as well so i played a bit of game pass which was brilliant so anyway that's val faris uh, no it's not that's blasphemous well worth picking up right okay this was mentioned obviously just a minute ago um this is my favorite of the three uh blasphemous val faris and slain and this is the one i do play the most of and i've only done 17 percent of it proper old school difficult it's um very difficult oh crap you gotta watch out for those he's a nasty little crap um love love the graphics on this oh he's shoved me off <laughs> so difficult but i love the music oh, i'm just concentrating on killing that i can't get it it's um it's just so blood guts and gore is this game and it, like i say it's really difficult die everything about you got to jump over that else it'll um you, like you run past it and it, it traps you there we go let's get up there so hard <laughs> as you can see 
I can only play this for like about maybe 30 minutes at a time mainly because because it is so dark I get so I get to a point where I end up doing the same thing over and over again right, so you can whack whack it stuns him you see when you when you actually throw him back it, it stuns it's st oh I'm right on the edge wanna the, the music in this is brilliant all heavy rock everything about it's just great I just I really enjoy it oh man you've got to kick those back when there we go stunned him when you stun him you see you can give him a really good smack like that and you can end up stunning loads of them at one time which is brilliant Die. again I like the graphics the, the graphics on this level are not as good as the previous level before it gonna die you can bounce them green ones back as well there we go <laughs> there's gonna be six by the way not five I've realized there's gonna be six right one more go 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 oh, oh I'm not doing very well them things in the air are so annoying You've got, you've got to, you, it's all about timing. Simple as that. When you get into the depths of the, um, the, the what you call it, the, the bowels of this, the, the real deep down in, like in the bottom, yeah, there's loads of blood everywhere and it's, it's gruesome. <laughs> but it is really good. Fling it back, come on. Oh, there you go. Anyway, that was slain. I could play this for quite a while, but not massive amount so anyway let's move on to the last one right so obviously this is one of the three of the ones I've talked about slain uh, blasphemous and uh, Val Faris or Ralph Faris or whatever you want to call it and um, this game is great as well I think this is made I don't know if this is made by the same people as made I don't think it is but made by the same people who made slain because it's very similar except he's more futuristic he's got better guns but it's blood guts and gore but it, it is absolutely brilliant. Now I've been playing this for time 24821.212. 24 for the 8th, 21. No, it's not that. Twi eight, no, it can't. I don't know what that is. Um, I haven't been playing for 21,000 hours. I can tell you that. I don't, I don't really know what that means. Oh, it's future time, isn't it? That's what it is. Right, so I cannot get past this bit at all it's a boss it's a boss level look at the graphics aren't they beautiful deep uh, I can't get past this bit because he's really hard um, I, I will do eventually mainly because I keep running into him <laughs> I don't even know where I am oh my gun's run out oh I didn't realise I had more than one gun So you, it's, you've basically got, oh my god, he's, he's so powerful, it's just, there we go, I might have died already, no I didn't die, well that makes a change, it's, 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 this game is basically platform, very similar to all the other ones that I've played, in fact very much similar to all the other ones I've played, I've just realised there's something above his head, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, above his head, not mine! <laughs> They just draw. They just drop dead gorgeous graphics out there. I just really like them. I like this pixel. I think this is pixel art. I'm not sure. Um, I'm concentrating. It's so hard. <laughs> oh, I've run out of gun. I've run out of bullets. Where is he? The the thing I find about the switches though that the control, the control, the 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 pad you know the left hand stick is a bit hit and miss for me it's not massively accurate oh get out of the way get out of the way i'm going to try and get this thing on him oh didn't mean to do that let's just uh, it, it, the, the thing's so tiny you know the um, directional pad this thumbstick thingy bob it, it's so minute that i find it it doesn't it's not very accurate 
it's not bad, but you know, you, you could be pressing left. There you go, I've died. You could be pressing left anyway. I'm not going to play any more of that. Let's go to the main menu and see if it shows the, um, the splash screen. There you go, the splash screen. Uh, Valfaris, I think it's called Valfaris. Or Rolfaris or whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Um, right, okay, so what, what's been going on? So basically, um, I'm going to tell you in another video, an update video on what, what I've been doing and um, what's happened and what's happened with my collection and all this kind of stuff. Uh, but for now, that is the end of this recording. So, there you go. That was six um, retro-style games that are actually on modern consoles. Um, these three of them, at least, are on um, PS4. I know that because I've got them. I don't know about the other ones. They're probably digital only. Um, all the ones that you've seen on here, barring the first one, or Prod Prodius or whatever it's called, Prodius, that's the only one I've got that's uh, physical. The rest of them are all digital games. And every single one of those games, except for Proteus, cost me less than £2. And the fun that you can have with it is brilliant. And again, the retro styling, so it fits on the channel pretty well. I may do some more of these videos. Um, I'll push push with these videos in every now and again on other consoles where we can... Um, where it's retro graphics on modern day consoles. They're still retro style games, but they're, they're all modern day now. Um, because I like them just as much as I like you know, the stuff that I actually post as well. But anyway, I'm waffling. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, and goodbye.